hand over to you, Lucy. If you want to, we're all good to go. Is there anyone in the room? Or? Yep, one other journo in the room. Okay, well, yeah, start with the journos in the room and then we can yeah, come to Joey, start. that's fine. All right. Okay. John, your initial thoughts on I mean, obviously, um, to go into you know, up, the red card, how do you, what do you make of it? Look, um, I understand if uh, the referee's given that a red card or VAR's given that a red card because if, if that's deemed to be a red card, then I have to accept that. But what I don't understand is the Tulio challenge on one of our players in the first half down in the corner. There's no attempt to play the ball. The studs are up above his knee and there wasn't even a yellow card. So that's where I get frustrated. You know, we were comfortable with 2-0. We were, you know, away from home. They weren't really creating much. Um, and then when we went 2-0 up, we, we felt that we were in a good position. Um, then we knew that we could probably pick them off and create some more chances. And the red card changed the game. It doesn't accept that we have to be more resilient when we go 2-0 up with 10 men. Um, then, then show that, uh, that bit of resilience that we've lacked a little bit to show so far. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, it hasn't been the best start for us. But we have to roll up our sleeves and show character and show what we're capable of doing and we've got two games before the break and then um, and turn it around, turn the season around. You mentioned the lack of resilience there. Is there anything else you can point to that sort of explains your slow start? Uh, we battered the team last week that we played against so that we didn't take our chances. Today we actually, uh, we weren't unbelievable with the ball but we created good chances and scored two good goals and then we were actually showing the resilience that we showed you know uh, most of the time last season um they just felt like because they were getting frustrated with the referee and they have to learn not to because the referee gave us nothing all day so the players got frustrated and it seems to be a, a you know a, a factor at the moment that players are getting frustrated with referees making poor decisions but we just have to just focus on our game and, and make sure that we defend better and then with the ball, we had to be better with 10 men as well. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, well, John, as you mentioned, the resilience there, I mean, obviously the going down to 10 men does change the game, but I imagine coming into this, you would have backed your boys to defend a two-goal lead with 10 men. Structurally, systemically, did anything break down after the red card that you were disappointed with? No, not structurally uh, too much. It was just those individual battles that we lost, you know, where we usually defended better, you know, or we normally do defend better. You know, getting beaten easy 1v1, which is unlike our players. So that, that was more it, you know. It was more like, oh, we're down to 10 men, it's going to be hard. But you're two goals in front, you should still be able to you know, backs up against the wall, no problem, um, and and show that resilience. So, but it, you know, if it was structurally, it wasn't too much that, that we could have changed. We tried to change it when we went to 3-2 down to, to try and get back in and get something out of the game, but it was too late. Uh, churlish as it might sound, given how the game turned out, at half time, a lot of the narrative was this was the Western United we remember from last year, the way that you were incisive and clinical on the break. What went right the first half? Um, no, look, we, we just took our chances better than we did last week. You know, uh, probably our all-round performance last week was better than our first half, but it was uh, a good, you know, uh, defensive display in the first half. Yeah, they were getting in good areas, but we were defending it really well. And, and then when we were going forward, we were, were clinical. Um, like I said, scored two great goals. We know... Uh, where their space is against this side. We know um, how we can hurt them, and we, and we, we did in the first half. And, you know, that, that's a positive, yes, but the negative is that, we, you know, we didn't get anything out of the game again. Um, and the biggest negative for me is, again, the inconsistency from the referee. It was... Uh, that, that, that's, that's the frustrating part, you know. I have to look at myself, yes. I have to look at my players, yes. But I, I just can't understand how they can get something so different when it's a similar challenge, you know. The Tulio challenge, I don't know what it looked like on TV, Joey, but did they show it at all? Uh, they did. The line was that it was very negligent contact, I think. So what does that mean? That he didn't, he didn't go for the ball, his studs are up around his knee, I don't, I don't get it. 
I, I, I really don't. I need to get the referees in again to explain because they explained to me at the beginning of the season and they've been completely different to what they've actually ended up doing uh, so far during the season. I'll probably get into trouble for saying this, but it's just it's frustrating. It's really, really frustrating. So, from the sounds of it, you won't be appealing Nikolai's red card, but you might seek an explanation around the first half decision? I don't even know if I'll even seek an explanation because I'll just get the same information back, is that, yeah, you're right, we are wrong. We've got that in the past, so what, we'll, there's no use in me seeking explanation. There's no use in... I don't know if we're going to appeal Nikolai's red card because, you know, if they deem that a, a dangerous tackle, then I'll have to accept that, but... I don't know. I didn't see it properly on on the TV, the replay. Um, you know, but if it is a red card, it is a red card. But then be consistent. And just last one from me, mate. Any injury or fitness concerns coming out of this one? No, no injury concerns coming out of this one. Hopefully, we get uh, a player or two back next week. But uh, this one so far, no injury concerns. Thanks, John. All good. Thank you, everyone.